Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsasi and welcome back to Bathless Factorio. And today uh, we will see that we get uh, our set up a bit more into gear. Last time we built this massive uh, copper wire production, which is not producing full capacity because uh, we have not enough copper wire, uh, copper plates delivered, which means in the end there will not be uh, enough wire um, and that also means we are not producing uh, full pelt uh, circuits. So let's have a look at production. Let's have a look at it. Uh, per minute now we can see we are producing more wires than we are consuming but we are consuming more copper plates that we are producing so we need more copper plates um, we are producing slightly more iron plates than we are consuming so there we are good but probably we could be better um, and then far behind we have the steel where we are still one up uh, as compared to uh, what we need. So let's see what we can do for the copper. Um, and I think uh, the setup where we have copper mining, smelting and then directly loading the plates that's a better setup than picking up the ore and uh, smelting it down here uh, because uh, with the distribution we just have uh, uh, three furnaces that do the smelting and that makes it all a bit slow. So we will hook up another smelting array like this one on this patch but for that we need to first add the uh, rail links all the way to here and then we can hook that up and let's see we probably also need to be on the lookout for more iron um, but with this patch hooked up, then we should also see that there are no nasties around in this area. All right, um, I think we have our work cut out for today. I found a nest up here and uh, I thought I uh, just want to show you how insanely overpowered laser uh, defense is. Uh, only the green ones, they pose a bit of a problem there. Everything else, not that much. And especially as uh, we do have a bit of uh, fish and not too many greens this is not really a problem even the worms cannot really do any real damage to us uh, it does require a few fish but not too much so I will finish the round up here and then also a bit more uncovering on this side because that's where our pollution is closest and if we hook up this uh, copper ore patch then we will generate quite a bit more pollution here in this area. I uncovered the map a bit more, found a few more ore patches, 
but now we are also getting into territory where the bases are getting a bit bigger uh, so that uh, my uh, laser defense with uh, four in there is not really uh, cutting it anymore so what we will focus instead here uh, because these nests they are still quite a bit away from our pollution zone but here we have a copper patch and we want to make use of it in a similar fashion as we did with this one so mining smelting loading shipping so that's something you have seen already uh, so i will directly cut to the finished um, smelting array here on this field one cup of field later we are here with two copper plate smelted stations on this real large copper patch that will naturally grow the, the pollution so while we probably also want to hook up uh, a bit more iron maybe it's time to make sure that we get the uh, proper damage for our uh, for our armor and while at it we can also check off some of the uh, other researches that are just there and then we will continue with the ones that just improve things instead of uh, adding new stuff but i think the goal there is the power armor mark 2 um, so that we can really extend our modular uh, setup with even more laser defense so we can also tackle the bigger nests there and thinking of iron let's turn this off we have an iron patch there an iron copper patch down there we also have one here that's a rather small one this one still has more in it we have a, not a large one there so probably hmm, what we could do is have basically an uh, iron smelting here on this side and uh, have another exit there okay that sounds like kind of a plan so let's see what we can do looks like we have finished the uh, copper wire production here so let's shift all these trains to the new station and then maybe we also need another train for delivering um, the copper plates now that we have uh, two additional um, two additional uh, stations um, 
let's see if we can uh, copy this onto there and then go to here and with that we can remove all this and uh, move on optimizing other things like for example what i wanted to do is down here we have the purple uh, science production in one small square but we actually can scale that up filling the whole square we just have to put aside some of the ingredients some of the uh, output products um, when doing this so that's probably the last thing I do in this episode so we have the the science set up ready for next time and hopefully next time we can do something um, that is uh, goes more in the direction of uh, building something new instead of uh, fixing the same old problems that we tried to fix already in the past but did not manage but one of the aspects that i like about this series it forces me to think how to do things i have done before but differently because you just cannot uh, pull out your uh, your blueprint book and uh, uh, pop things down because basically everything in here um, is either based on uh, belts or logistic robots. So that's an interesting challenge and uh, I hope you like it too. Um, so uh, yeah with that that's the end for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you in the next one until then goodbye